Ah, January. You may not have much in terms of new releases, but for Nintendo fans, you have with it the hopes of a brand new Nintendo Direct, filled with hype and anticipation for the year to come. Or do you? Since last year, we only got a Nintendo Direct Mini in January filled with, for the most part, third-party reveals and the first big major Direct in March. But what a Direct that was! Here we are again with the hopes, expectations and rumours regarding another Nintendo Direct on January 10th. And it looks like all the signs are fulfilled for this to happen. It has been four months since the last non-Smash Brothers Direct and over two months since the last Smash Direct. The Game Awards only revealed Joker with no gameplay, so it gotta be time for a January Direct in the next few days or so. The probability is definitely there for a January presentation, as it might be too long to wait until March. But then again, we already have tons of games to look forward to this year, but in return not so many release dates. Hmm, so what would it really bring to the table if we have a January Direct? The Direct, if real, is likely to open with the full gameplay reveal of the Joker DLC pack with release date, moveset, final smash, soundtrack, and stage. Say the Velvet Room or Mementos, though some of the palaces seem to be more likely. The soundtrack seems to be very interesting, because knowing Sakurai and how many tracks he brought from the Castlevania series, we will likely see a number of songs from Persona showcased during the Direct. Then there is the question if this showcase will be followed up by the reveal of a Persona 5 port for the Nintendo Switch. Say, a Persona 5S, seeing that we will not learn anything about Persona 5R until March. And it is this reveal, if anything, that might hold off the Direct until March. That and the possibility of a simultaneous reveal of the next character in DLC Pack 2. Next, we will have the release dates of Yoshi and Fire Emblem. We need to know when the late winter and spring titles after January are coming out. Now it may be a given that it will be Yoshi's Crafted World, since it will fit perfectly in that March Kirby feel-good spot from last year, while Fire Emblem Three Houses, as a much more serious entry, should be saved for a May or June release. But we still need confirmation, thus a Nintendo Direct. This goes in particular for Fire Emblem which is making its big move from handheld to console, and it is bound that we will see a more extensive trailer or even a showcase during the Direct with more to come in an April Direct. We know that there is a big Fire Emblem Expo coming in May, so a release date in this month seems to be likely. The only thing we need is a little more information regarding the characters, gameplay and obviously story, but not too much as Nintendo has recently had a bad habit of spoiling key plot points in upcoming titles. Speaking of spoiling important plot devices, Pokemon. For Pokemon Let's Go, most of the plot and nearly all surprises were spoiled prior to the game's release, and this is pretty much the reason why we want the Pokemon Company and Game Freak to wait with the Pokemon Switch reveal. But do we think that Pokemon Switch will be revealed in a January Direct? Not likely, since this is the Pokemon Company and Game Freak we are talking about. They will likely host a presentation of their own, sometime in the first months of the year. But we'll get back to this matter in a later video. So if nothing about the core Pokemon Switch RPG, then what about Game Freak's new IP, Town? Since we all know that it's going to be overshadowed by its big brother by the time it's revealed in around early 2019. Actually, giving a more extensive gameplay trailer of Town might be just what this Direct needs. But do you know what Directs usually also have? A new Wii U port. Now we know that new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe might be featured, but along with it, we believe that Nintendo might bring a proper Zelda reveal of either Skyward Sword HD or a Wind Waker Twilight Princess HD Switch bundle. Why do we believe this to be the case? Simple. Since every Nintendo Direct, with the exception of E3 in 2018, had a remastered Nintendo title reveal. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze in the January Mini Direct, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker in the March Direct, and most recently, New Super Mario Bros. U in the September Direct. Now it is a given with a new and likely reusing Breath of the Wild as its Zelda title slated sometime in 2020 or 2021, that Nintendo will want to use 2019 as a gap year to take advantage of the motion controlled Joy-Cons with HD Rumble for a new Zelda HD project. 
and since it has already been teased by series producer AJ Numa, it appears to only be a matter of time until Skyward Sword HD will be a thing on the Nintendo Switch. So could this direct be when we see the reveal? Some may think so, and we would definitely be happy to see the final Zelda HD remake of the GameCube and Wii era Zelda games, making it possible to once in the future to offer the Zelda Triforce HD collection, with Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, and finally Skyward Sword HD. Who knows, perhaps we could get any of these for Zelda's 33rd anniversary in February. That would be great. Or perhaps Nintendo sees that Metroid Prime 4 will come out before the next Zelda and decides to reveal Metroid Prime Trilogy HD to give time for everyone who hasn't played the original trilogy to get invested into the plot and gameplay before Metroid Prime 4 drops. This is the thing about the Wii U, Zelda and Metroid games. There weren't any beside Breath of the Wild. We already have Hyrule Warriors, so the next best thing is to remaster the Wii games, Skyward Sword and Metroid Prime Trilogy. So let's see what we have so far. Smash DLC, release dates from Yoshi and Fire Emblem, possible new trailer for Game Freak's Town, and a Zelda or Metroid Wii remaster. Should be more than enough for a good first Nintendo Direct of the year, definitely. And these are only first and second party titles. We still have a ton of third party titles that deserve attention in a Nintendo Direct. Like, for example, February's Trials Rising from Ubisoft, April's Mortal Kombat 11, May's Team Sonic Racing, and June's Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Now all of these have release dates, but with the exception of Trials Rising, none of them have been featured in any Nintendo Directs since they were either not revealed, or as in Team Sonic Racing's case, delayed from 2018 to 2019. But what about third-party games that we have no release date for, but are slated for this year? These titles include the Final Fantasy Collection, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Dragon Quest XI-S, Dragon Quest Builders 2, and Daemon X Machina. Of all these, it seems that Ultimate Alliance 3, Dragon Quest Builders 2, and Daemon X Machina could get release trailers as they could be spring titles. The reason we see it this way is that an April or May launch of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 will coincide with the premiere of Avengers Endgame. And as for Daemon X Machina, the game was revealed at E3 2018, and has since then had new gameplay trailers at Gamescom and the September 2018 Direct. In other words, it appears that a release date reveal is the next in line for this ambitious mech title that opened up Nintendo's E3 2018 Direct. At this point, I believe we are pretty much through most of the games featured in a potential Direct, with the exception of perhaps the 3DS remaster or two, to keep the illusion of its presence in Nintendo's future console strategy. Both Fire Emblem, Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion and Pokemon on the way over from the 3DS and to the Nintendo Switch, it appears to be close to the game over for the 8-year-old system at this point. Since we are at the topic of Animal Crossing Switch and Luigi's Mansion 3, could we see new trailers for these games? It is definitely possible, seeing that Nintendo in the last uh, proper Nintendo Direct revealed both Luigi's Mansion 3 and Animal Crossing Switch. For the latter one, it appears that uh, they didn't want to take attention away from Isabel's inclusion into Smash Bros. Ultimate. However, we believe that both Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion 3 are post-E3 releases, and as such, it would make sense for these titles to skip this Direct and reappear in, in a, say, a potential April Direct or even in the E3 2019 Nintendo presentation. But now now we need to address a game that Nintendo has been ignoring for over a year and a half now, Metroid Prime 4. Even though it was announced in June 2017, we still know practically nothing about this highly anticipated game other than its title. It appears that Prime 4, which we haven't seen since the E3 2017 title reveal, could show up in any Nintendo Direct at this point. And if it doesn't show up until E3 this year, then it is likely that this game is slated for 2020 with the likes of a new Mario Kart and perhaps a new Zelda title. In other words, if Metroid Prime 4 is not slated for 2019, then the January Direct would not be the best place to bring it back into the spotlight, considering it should only be about games that are releasing this year and perhaps even before E3 as we referenced already, with our opinion on Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion 3, and Pokemon Switch RPG in this Direct. The thing is, if Metroid Prime 4 is coming out in 2019, then it being shown off in the January Direct could make sense. Though it would also be logical for Nintendo to show that off in a March or April Direct in order to build the hype up to E3 2019. 
because if Prime 4 is to be in any of the directs within the first half of the year, it will most likely not be with a gigantic gameplay reveal, but instead a CGI teaser of Samus and her gunship like what we got with the Smash Bros reveal in the March 2018 direct. Let's face it, We've waited long enough for the official reveal of this game. The best time to have done this was at the Game Awards last month. The second best time is now. And if the game isn't coming out until 2020, then at least you could reveal Metroid Prime Trilogy HD to build hype. Please? Ultimately, the January Nintendo Direct needs to end with a bang. Last year's Mini Direct ended with the announcement of Dark Souls Remastered, which isn't that big compared to a Smash Bros or Animal Crossing, but a bang nonetheless. It has to be something we couldn't see coming, and something that won't be ruined by a leak hours in advance. Like a Metroid Prime 4 or Bayonetta 3 gameplay reveal if any of these are coming out this year. Based on recent updates, it appears that the latter seems to be more likely, but still remains to be confirmed. Seriously, leakers, you deserve the wrath of the Nintendo ninjas. At the same time, though, it doesn't need to be a game that would blow our socks off. Something that would garner the reaction, oh hey, that's pretty cool, I'm kind of excited for that now. So, Pikmin 4. Just kidding. That would actually make us very excited. Seriously, though, it's been how many years since Miyamoto said the game was almost done? Come on, Nintendo, give us some Pikmin love. And while you're at it, we are still waiting for a great Paper Mario game in this decade. Anyhow, now we would like to hear from you. Will we see a Nintendo Direct, say, a week from now? And if so, what games, trailers, and reveals would you like to see in that Direct? Sound off in the comment section below, or tweet them to us at Common Realm. And if you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up, and if you are new, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload more videos regarding Nintendo and the Switch. We'd also like to thank our glorious patrons, including royal producer Kenyatta Ali, for all their contributions to the realm. Visit patreon.com slash common realm to find out how you can join the ranks in exchange for some awesome perks. That's all for now, so we will see you girls and guys in the next one.